Once upon a time, there was a young princess by the name of Genevieve. One moon after her birth, the three good fairies, Margaret, Meredith, and Mabel. That's us, the three good, extremely young and beautiful fairies. Well, at least one of them was young and beautiful. Oh, shut your mouths, the pair of you. I'm trying to tell the story. Anyways, we were called upon to be Genevieve's fairy godmothers and give her blessings. That day, an evil wizard named Wilmspear cursed Genevieve to be doomed to an unwanted marriage that would eventually lead to her death. We tried to counteract the spell, but to no avail. The poor thing was doomed to die from marrying her one true love. Genevieve's mother, the queen, died a few years after Genevieve's birth. Despite that, Genevieve grew up to be a beautiful, cheerful, and kind princess. She loved to run about and play in the fields and forests surrounding the kingdom, and was a friend to all, man, woman, child, and animal alike. Genevieve's father, well, the king, never told the princess of her uh, fate. He also decided that Genevieve should not have to live without a mother, so he married a noble woman by the name of Lady Catherine. Although she appears kind, Lady Catherine is a despicable person and cares nothing for her stepdaughter. She knows Genevieve will die when she has an unwanted marriage. So she is secretly plotting for the princess's death by forcing her into an unwanted marriage. Then she plans to have her son Tybalt to rule the kingdom. Things are looking in her favor when the young prince comes seeking Genevieve's affections. Genevieve! Genevieve! Oh, for goodness sake, what is that girl? Genevieve! Lady Catherine demands dear Genevieve's presence. I wonder why. Yes? Who is it? Oh, hello, mother. Hello, daughter. We have an important matter we need to discuss. Please sit. Alright, mother. What is it that you need to tell me? What have you been doing to get yourself in such a messy state? My goodness, child, that is certainly not ladylike. But I digress. I have been thinking, and I do believe you have reached the prime time to marry a fine gentleman worthy of being your husband. Well, on my blessed heart, the lady of the house wishes for Genevieve to marry Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Why, she's almost 14. This is perfect. What a lovely couple you two will make. I have dreamed of this moment from since I ever watched her as a young infant. Oh. And Hans is a fine young man. He is from a wealthy kingdom, too. You'll be rich, my child. Rich! I heard he traveled all the way to England from his palace in Denmark to ask for your hand in marriage. Hold your tongues, Margaret Mabel Meredith, or I'll have to send the three of you away. Yes, my lady. Well, what say you to that, Genevieve? Well, Hans is a fine nobleman. I should be rather happy that you would marry him. In fact, it is high time that you are married. When I was your age, I was already a mother to your stepbrother Tybalt, and yet you remain unmarried. It, it's just that I don't even know this Hans fellow, and I do not really wish to marry. Perhaps in a year or two. You do not I wish to marry Hans? Oh, come off it, child. That's absolute rubbish. That is. You have been blessed with the wealthy, handsome man of royalty who seeks to make you his wife. You'd be a fool to refuse. Genevieve, if you won't marry the prince, then I shall be more than happy to take your place. Nay, Mabel, I shall be the one to take her place if she declines. Hush, the both of you! Genevieve is obviously going to marry the prince. He is the only man alive to match her wealth, status, and beauty. Anyways, you both are ugly, idiotic baboons who the Prince Hans could easily mistake in any day for flying pigs. I'm not a What's pig. What's a baboon? It takes a... Wait, yeah, wait, no, wait, that's a baboon. I can't wake up. Well, darling, I have invited Hans over for dinner tonight. Get to know him and think over this offer. Well, I will go and meet him today, and then we shall see if I wish to marry him. I will try my best to like him, but for your sake, I really will. But I don't know if I'm ready to marry him. I'm only 13. I'm afraid that's no excuse, dearie. I was only 12 when I was married. To a toad? It was a prince enchanted as a toad. You know that's just as well as anybody, Margaret. 
Yes, well, he's still just as ugly as one. <laughs> All right. However, I believe after dinner, you will be begging me to start planning your Han's wedding. Adieu for now, Jennifer. And do try to clean up before dinner. You look like you've been rolling around in the brush. Say hello to Hans for me. Do you think you can get me his autograph? There it is, Mabel! That's quite enough! Come along now. Leave the princess alone. Oh dear. Oh dear. Why would mother do this to me? I don't want to get married. Whatever shall I do? You wish to tell me. It is high time to marry Prince Hans. Oh my god! <laughs> of royal. <laughs> oh my god, it's Prince Hans! Oh, I knew oh. you'd come for me. Oh, you're so cool. It's a woman. To marry the prison, I shall be more than happy to take his to take your place. Nay, Mabel, I shall be the one to take your place if she. Ah, Spiderweb! Help me! I'm not doing this. <laughs> At least I didn't fall on my back. 